Sorry if you've witnessed me being transported to a different planet there. Hello, Chris at ePianos here again with the Yamaha CP88 here in the shed. And today I want to have a look at um, some of the string sounds and pad sounds on this keyboard and in particular how you can mix them with a the piano. In my last video we looked at the piano selection on here but what can we do with the synths and the string sounds to blend your own sound. That's what this piano is all about, blending your own sounds. So I've got some presets that I've made but I'm also going to go through loads of tweaking, playing with the settings and to show to you how you can change the sound and mix your own and how much fun it is frankly. So uh, here we go. What I've done with that sound um, is use the Nashville Grand Piano on the piano section and then I've got the first strings, the mellow pad strings on the, the um, string section here but I've really overdone the distortion. Um, you've got loads and loads of options like the volume and the tone and the octave that you can set the strings to but there I've really overdone the distortion because it's just fun to play around with all the effects you can get on here and you can really create your own unique sound. Um, second one I've done here using the Imperial Grand Piano and the Mellow Pad again. What I've done there is add a little bit of chorus to the strings and also the piano and that gives it this slightly ethereal effect. And the volume is not so loud on the right hand side on the strings there but I can bring it up if I want to. third one is the uh, S700 piano and the tape strings. So the tape strings I, I've been loving because it's got this quite spooky effect to it. Um, and you'll hear it and every time I take my foot off the sustain pedal the tape sort of cuts and resets and it's being pulled slightly so it's got that, it's, well spooky is the best thing I can describe. I think we've got to get spookier than that. Thank you. 
So again, totally unique sound. I mixed it myself, set the own, my own feedback, the slight delay with, on the piano that time as well. Uh, the strings you hear on top there, I set to an octave higher than the regular setting. Um, just as for an example, now, if I were to use this setting here to bring the string octaves back to uh, normal, it's a lower setting, allows me to play higher up the piano, but I can move it to a lower octave as well. So in this case, I'm playing high up on the piano register, but the string register is lower. So with the plethora of sounds we've got on here, I can really mix it up to suit whatever type of music I'm playing. So going on to my next preset here. With this one I'm using uh, not just the uh, piano and strings but also bringing in one of the DX keyboards as well. Uh, and have a listen to this one. This is a, this is a very sort of 80s, uh, late 80s effect. And there I've got um, quite a long uh, release on the string, so they do tend to overlap and carry on a little bit. Um, probably overdone the setting there a little bit, but going on to my next pad, uh, next uh, preset. And this one is called Angel Pad uh, on the pad section, and it's the U1 upright piano I'm using on the left. And the pad on this one, uh, a very slow uh, attack on this one. So it's, I'm playing, but then the, the strings and the pad are, are taking their time about bringing a backing in. So the sound is sort of filling as I'm playing uh, and eventually comes in quite strongly. But that allows me, that frees up the, the piano, the melody side, to be a little bit freer before the strings catch up with it. So it's quite a nice way to play. Can you hear the distortion on the strings as well? That gives it gives it quite a, an interesting effect.
so you can get uh, carried away and um, if that's what you want as a musician as a creative player you want to be able to just get lost in the music there and I'm sorry if I've, I've, you've witnessed me being transported to a different planet there but I didn't want, I didn't want to stop playing and I didn't want to stop going with that one and uh, that's the kind of thing you can do on here um, so what I'm going to try and do now is start something from scratch so I'm going to turn off all the effects and the only thing I'm going to have going is the grand piano so I've got the delay off and the reverb off uh, re I'm gonna leave the reverb on so all we've got to start with is piano okay we're just gonna have piano on its own uh, then I'm going to turn on the pads and let's go through um, some of the settings on here make sure everything's set to neutral there a neutral volume a neutral tone uh, and you've got nice dials on the attack and the release knobs up here so we should have piano and uh, a mellow pad to start with let's try that Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just go over to the uh, uh, pad section here and I'm going to experiment with the uh, attack. So if I take the attack down to zero, what happens is we are hit immediately by the strings when I play that piano. But if we slide the attack all the way up to maximum, what you'll find now is there is a delay before the strings come on in and as I said before that gives you that allows you time to play a little bit of melody It's probably overdoing the uh, the attack there, so I'm going to set it to about um, halfway. And now the release is uh, how I'll give you an example here. I turn it down to zero, and the strings stop immediately. But if I turn the release up to maximum, that happens. So I played, and the strings are just carrying on. Now again, if you're playing a slow piece, it's this is quite handy because uh, I can play something where I do want the strings to follow on but the trouble is you get a lot of bleed over onto your your next uh, chord so I'll, I'll try but you'll you'll hear this might be a bit messy So you're okay if you're playing something that's really, really slow, because if I was to play something quicker, it might sound a bit bad like this. Um, obviously that's a bit too much, but so, but I do like it to hang on a little bit. So I'm gonna keep that about 65 70 ish um, now I have got uh, the tone and the volume in there as well I'm kind of happy with the volume at the minute but let's just whack the tone right down to zero now let's whack it up to 127 maximum 
I'm just going to do this in the middle of playing. Uh, so I quite like it with a high amount of tone, but we'll go just above halfway. Now you've got chorus, stroke flange, rotary, tremolo and distortion and these make a big difference to the sound. Uh, starting off with chorus, um, this is what I, what I like to think of as the instant 1980s VHS tape simulator in that it just makes the, the, uh, the strings wobble a little bit. And we can change the amount, the depth and the speed. Oh my god! So if you do that while you're playing, all sorts of mad stuff happens. So uh, be careful. So don't want to overdo it there. Um, let's go with rotary. Rotary is a really, really nice one. Uh, tremolo. Let's try and play with this a little bit. So I'm turning up the depth and the speed. So the, the depth kind of controls how big the wave is, if you think of it as hitting you in waves. Um, so if I turn it right down, it doesn't make the waves of the tremolo very big and the speed is the uh, frequency, if you like, of how often they come. So if I turned it right up, we'd get a, da -da 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 -da, a very quick effect. But I turn it right down, and it's quite a slow. And I try sometimes to sort of match the tempo of the music I'm playing um, with the speed of the tremolo anyway. And the other one here on here is the distortion as well, which sounds like a bit of a strange thing to have on strings. But again, you know, why not? Why not do it? Because you can create whatever you like on here. And as you've heard from my preset earlier, if I really overdo the um, distortion, I'm just going to be careful with the volume. <laughs> now we've got the most sinister sounding uh, strings on the back of there, which sound like they're from a a horror movie. Um, I'm going to change the piano to the uh, Imperial Grand as well. And when you when you do something like this, and I did this earlier on almost by accident. It just opens up all sorts of creative pathways in your mind. Uh, again, and that's the beauty of this piano. You can make your own mix. You can create something from scratch that's totally new, that's totally yours. So I'm going to turn the tone of the piano down and bring the volume of it down slightly too. 
and let's try and play something really sinister. So it's completely out of the ordinary. It's probably not how the strings were supposed to be used. And granted, it sounds a bit weird, but you know, if you're writing a piece of music and you're doing it for a movie soundtrack, or if you're doing it for uh, whatever, if you're trying to set a mood in a piece of music, you need to be able to do stuff like that. As weird as it sounds, it's fun to do as well. You can literally sit on this piano as I've been doing for hours, mucking around with it and doing things like that. So. I've covered the pianos in a previous video. I've done some on the strings there as well. Uh, there's so much more. I still barely scratched the surface on it. I want to get into the um, uh, the way that you can use the, all the other sounds, the organs, chromatic percussion, others, and then I haven't even touched the electric pianos in there as well. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for the next one. Uh, do me a favor and press the like button down below on this video and also um, subscribe leave a, a comment or ask a question. If there's something you want to hear on here, just ask a question. Um, I know there was a, a chap in the previous video who wanted to know about the, the strings on their own and whether they would sustain. And uh, I can demonstrate that to you now that, in fact, if I play strings on their own, uh, this is, they will sustain indefinitely. That's the answer to the question. So my foot's on the pedal, if I play, They're going to keep going until I release my foot from the pedal. So that's not like the home keyboards, like the P155, P P125, P45 from Yamaha, DGX670. They will all have a natural fade on them, although you can tweak it to some degree. But this style of uh, using the strings is a bit different on this uh, stage piano series from Yamaha. So thanks very much for watching. I hope that was useful to you. There's going to be loads more coming on this keyboard. I'm just going to play a little bit more 
now for my own enjoyment using my presets from earlier.